Welcome to Machine Embroidery Your Life from American Quilter Society and Eversown. We're going to be making nine projects all on the Eversown Sparrow X. Today, we're making a machine embroidery patch. Let's get started. First, we're going to need some supplies. I have my 120 by 180 millimeter embroidery hoop. I've got a size 75 machine embroidery needle in my machine. I have water soluble stabilizer, a woven fusible, a scrap of background fabric, some scissors, machine embroidery thread for the project I'm doing, um, a few Q-tips, and of course, my Eversone Pro app on a smart device. You can use it on Apple or Android smart devices. You can find a link to the written directions for this project down in the description. I'm starting with my piece of background fabric. I've cut it out at about five inches and my woven fusible, which I've cut out to be a bit smaller than that, so about four and a half inches. And following my manufacturer's instructions, I am going to fuse my fusible onto my bit of background fabric on the wrong side. Now that our fabric's prepared, we're going to hoop our stabilizer. To do this, I'm going to unclamp my hoop. I'm removing the inner hoop from the outer hoop. Set that aside for a moment. I am going to lay two layers of my water soluble stabilizer over the hoop. I'm using two layers because this is going to be a pretty densely stitched out design. And so whenever we have lots of stitches, we need more layers of stabilizer. I've got that laid over it. I'm bringing the inner hoop back in and I'm placing it over the stabilizer and pressing it in. Once I've got it pressed in, I give it just a little bit of an extra push so it starts to pop out at the back, just a touch. Then I clamp it. And once it's clamped, I come in and apply even pressure from either side to tighten it up until the stabilizer is drum tight. Now I'm going to put the embroidery hoop in the machine. I have my machine set up in embroidery mode with the embroidery module on. I'm putting the hoop in. Now that we've got the hoop in the machine, we're going to move over to our smart device, get on the Eversone Pro app. To get started, I'm going to click Patterns. All the patterns we're doing today are down in the Patches tab. We're going to make a cute little kitten. And this screen shows us the stitches, the threads that are going to be in it, and the size of the design. So I'm going to go ahead and send that to the editing tab. All right, we're in the editing screen now, and it automatically centers the cat. So I'm going to move over to the patterns tab down at the bottom of the screen, and it's got that little plus sign beside it because we can add more to our design. So I'm going to go back to patches and there is a circular frame we're going to use. You can put this around any of those patches. Send that over. And we can see here that the circle is a little bit close to his whisker when it's centered. So I'm going to increase its size to about 90 millimeters. There we go. And then to recenter it, I'm going to click the Move tab. And where all the arrows are pointing in towards the center, I'm gonna click that that little green tab at the bottom, and then we are back in our main screen. Um, one thing I want to check before I send it stitching is the sequence. So I'm gonna click that sequence button, and here it's showing me what it's going to stitch first and what it's gonna stitch second. And I want it to stitch out the frame first. So I'm going to move that up into the first slot and close that. Now that I have it all arranged like I want, we're ready to send it to the machine. Um, I'm going to Click that button up there in the corner and it's going to send it to my machine. I'm already connected to my machine's Wi-Fi, but if I weren't, it would take us over into the Wi-Fi tab and we would set that up. But I'm all ready to stitch out and we're going to get back to the machine now. Now that we're all set up in the app, we're ready to start stitching. I've got with me my little piece of prepared fabric from earlier and I like to use a pair of curved applique clipping scissors. These are really great for the trimming we're going to do in a moment, but any pair of scissors will do. All right, we are going to lower our presser foot and hit the start button on the front of the machine to start our placement stitch. All 
I'm going to trim that tail really quick. And that one pulls right up. Now I can take and place my fabric right side up over that circle. And I can line up my green. I can really make sure that this is placed exactly where I want it by following that placement guide. So I've got that all set. I'm gonna pull out a little bit more of a tail again for myself. Lift that, pull out a nice long tail. As I start to stitch this um, tacking stitch, I'm going to hold onto my tail, let it start sewing a few stitches, and then trim it. So I've hit the pause button, which is the same as my start button, and I am trimming the tail, and I'm going to let it finish sewing out that tack for me. The machine's finished tacking. I'm going to raise the presser foot and remove the hoop so that we can trim the fabric. So I'm going to bring it over to my little cutting area and I've got this curved pair of scissors. I like it because I can place that curve right at the edge and then start to trim. It's okay if I cut a couple little threads of this outer line. So take your time with this, be careful, but don't worry. Now that I have it all trimmed, I'm ready to reinstall the hoop and finish the stitch out. We've finished the stitch out. We have our little kitty cat all done. I've gone ahead and removed mine from the hoop. And now we're going to remove the water soluble stabilizer by dissolving it. To do that, I have a little cotton swab and a bit of water over here in my AQS mug. So I'm just going to wet that swab and I'm going to dab around the edge of the patch. And that's going to start the water soluble stabilizer dissolving. And so I'm just going to do that all the way around until our little patch is free of its background. All right. As that last little bit dissolves, you can go ahead and lift the patch out and smooth out the edges just with your fingertip is great. That just gets all the little stabilizer smoothed down. And congratulations, you have made a machine embroidery patch. These are so fun for putting on clothing items like denim jackets, hats, and bags. And they're also really fun for repairing any holes in a really creative, decorative way. I hope you've had fun making this project. Stick around to hear more about the Eversone Sparrow X. A special thanks to our sponsor, Eversone. I'm having so much fun making projects with my Eversone Sparrow X. If you'd like to get to know the machine a little better, you can download the Eversone Pro app right now. You can find it in the App Store or Google Play Store. And to learn more about the machine, check out the link in the description below for a walkthrough video. Thanks for watching.